f plus g of x is defined to be f of x plus g of x. Meaning to say... Fat mass, the right path to develop the fat brain that you've got. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Math TV. Operations on functions. In this video, you will learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. Given f of x equals 2x plus 4 and g of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 4, we can have f plus g of x. So this is the notation for the sum of f and g. So f plus g of x. So f plus g of x is defined to be f of x plus g of x. Meaning to say, you just add this f of x and this g of x. So that's going to be 2x plus 4. This is f of x plus g of x. And then combine like terms. For x squared, you just copy that. And then for x, you have 2x plus 4x, that's 6x. And then 4 plus 4 is 8. So f plus g of x is x squared plus 6x plus 8. How about f minus g of x? f minus g of x is f of x minus g of x. So you copy f of x. That's 2x plus 4 minus g of x. So if we are subtracting here uh, um, algebraic expressions, then, of course, we have to distribute this minus sign to each of the terms in the parentheses. So we have 2x plus 4, copy that, and then minus x squared. The positive 4x will be minus 4x and then minus 4. Okay, you have to change the sign of each term inside the pair of parentheses. And then combine like terms for x squared, copy negative x squared. For 2x and negative 4x, 2x minus 4x is negative 2x, and 4 plus negative 4 is 0. So f minus g of x is negative x squared minus 2x. We can also multiply these functions for uh, the notation. We have fg of x. So fg of x is defined to be f of x times g of x. So f of x is 2x plus 4 and g of x is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So you just multiply these algebraic expressions. You can do it one by one. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed and then 2x times 4x that's 8x squared. 2x times 4 that's 8x and then 4 times x squared that's 4x squared 4 times 4x, that's 16x, and 4 times 4 is 16. And then combine like terms. Copy 2x cubed. 8x squared plus 4x squared is 12x squared. And then 8x plus 16x is 24x, and copy 16. So fg of x is, f is 2x cubed plus 12x squared plus 24x plus 16. We can also have quotient of functions. f over g of x is defined to be f of x over g of x, provided that g of x is not the zero function. Okay, so f of x is 2x plus 4 and then over x squared plus 4x plus 4. That will be your final answer if you can't cancel any common factor anymore from the numerator and denominator. But as what we can see, two times uh, at 2x plus 4 is factorable. We can factor the greatest common factor 2. So that can be expressed as 2 times x plus 2. And the denominator can be expressed also as a factored form x plus 2 squared or x plus 2 times x plus 2. And as what you can see here, x plus 2 is a common factor of the numerator and denominator. So they can be canceled. So the final answer would be 2 over x plus 2. Okay, another example, f of x equals 2 over x and g of x equals 3 over x plus 1. f plus g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 1. So we are adding here uh, uh, rational expressions. So we have 2 
uh, find the least common denominator. And since uh, the two denominators, x and x plus 1, don't have a common factor, so we just write the product as the denominator. And then find equivalent fractions of these two fractions such that the denominators are x times x plus 1. So what's the equivalent of 2 over x? Such that the denominator is two, uh, x times x plus 1. So what you're going to do is divide this by x. x times x plus 1 divided by x is x plus 1 times 2 or that is 2 times x plus 1. Same as what we do here, x times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1, the x plus 1 will be cancelled, so we will have x, so x times 3. And then simplify that for the numerator here, we have 2x plus 2. And then we can just combine that anyway, they are like terms already. They have the same denominator, uh, plus 3x. So 2x plus 3x is 5x, and then copy 2. And then you can have x times x plus 1. You can expand that to x squared plus x. So this is the sum of f and g. So f plus g of x is 5x plus 2 over x squared plus x. How about g minus f of x? So g is 3 over x plus 1 minus uh, 2 over x. You do the same find the least common denominator and then find equivalent fractions so divide x times x plus 1 by x plus 1 that's x times 3 and then divide this by x that's going to be x plus 1 times 2 and you're going to have 3x for the numerator and then since there's a minus sign here you can have negative 2 times x that's negative 2x and negative 2 times 1 that is negative 2 and then combine like terms, 3x and uh, negative 2x, you will have x. And then copy minus 2, and then the denominator can again be expanded to x squared plus x. So g minus f of x is x minus 2 over x squared plus x. Same given. This time, let us have the product. So, how do we multiply fractions? Just multiply numerator and numerator for the numerator of the product and denominator and denominator for the denominator of the product. So, 2 times 3 is 6 and x times x plus 1 is x times x plus 1 or x squared plus x. For g over f of x, so g is 3 over x plus 1 over f which is 2 over x and then if we are dividing fractions we copy the numerator and multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator here so uh, our numerator here is uh, 3 times x plus 1 and get the reciprocal of this so you copy this one first copy and then get the reciprocal of 2 over x reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse so you just uh, uh, interchange 2 and x here. So x will be in the numerator, 2 will be in the denominator. And then apply the rule in multiplying fractions, you multiply numerators, so 3x over uh, 2 times x is 2x and then 2 times 1 is 2. You, you uh, distribute 2. So g over f of x is 3x over 2x plus 2. So you have to really remember here the rules of uh, operations on uh, algebraic expressions. I mean uh, rational expressions or fractions. Okay, let us have a practice. So given f of x equals x plus 5 and g of x equals 3x minus 4, find the following. So number 1, f plus g of x. Number 2, f minus g of x. Number 3, g minus f of x. Number 4, f, g of x. Number 5, f over g of x. And then number 6, g over f of x. So this uh, practice number 1 is kind of easy. So pause the video if you need more time. Let us answer. For f plus g of x, we have 4x plus 1. Okay, check your answers. Number 2, we have negative 2x plus 9. Number 3, 2x minus 9. Number 4, 3x squared plus 11x minus 20. And number 5, 
x plus 5 over 3x minus 4. And number 6, 3x minus 4 over x plus 5. Did you get 6? Okay, try another set of exercises. Here we have uh, fractions. Given f of x equals x plus 1 over 2 and g of x equals 3 over x plus 2, find the following. Number 1, the sum of f and g. Number 2, the difference. Number 3, the product. And number 4, the quotient. Okay, again, pause the video. Let us check. Number 1, we have x squared plus 3x plus 8 over 2x plus 4. Number 2, x squared plus 3x minus 4 over 2x plus 4. Number 3, 3x plus 3 over 2x plus 4. And number 4, x squared plus 3x plus 2 over 6. So check your answers. If you got 4, then very good. If you did not get 4, then you must go back to the example previously that is similar to uh, this one. So that's it for operations on functions. We will have a separate video for the composition of functions. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!